Get it, Papa. Hey, wake up, Pappy. Huh? Oh, what's going on? Where are we? Where are we going? Well, we're on our way to a new adventure. Are we going to stop at a Walmart? Nope, that's not the plan. No, Pappy, we're not near a Walmart. Well, here I am. And I'm in a uh, interesting place. Kind of halfway up a hill and that kind of thing, near a very big river. And I came to see what's right over here. Look, Dad. Yep. Look, Dad. You're probably saying, well, what Dad? Well, that's what's left of an ironclad ship from the Civil War, the USS Cairo. And actually, if you use your sharp, pointy eyes, you can see on that uh, wall there, it says USS Cairo Museum. And this is in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And uh, this big battlefield over here and everything, there's all kinds of Civil War type stuff. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Cairo and see what's going on. And this is what the Cairo looked like when it was in uh, much better shape than it is now. But uh, this tells a little bit about it. And you can look that and pause that so you can read data if you can read and uh, read about that. But uh, this is what it looked like when they found it. Which is kind of what it looks like now, except they did some restoration and stuff on it. But look that. Look that. And that's what it looked like when it was coming at you. So you better get out the way because this three cannons pointed straight ahead. And there's lots of good information about the Cairo and ironclads uh, in particular and this is interesting because they built seven of these similar ones in 100 days so they were gonna have a fine you can read that up there you watch I'll put this so you can read that you and uh, this is what it looked like when they were building them in the shipyard but look what's left and some of it's reconstructed like the, all the, the upper parts there stuff like that but it's pretty big and uh, I think you actually can go walk around inside it or something it looks like let's go see that us they have lower deck and everything Uh oh, here's what happened. The cool little Braille map, you can feel that. If you know how to spell Vicksburg in Braille, that's, that's what that is. Look that. Look at the business end of a cannon here.
Look in there. See that? at those see they go right up there right behind the giant finger oh look giant fingers in the way he's all the way down inside there but before we get inside there us I wanted y'all to see this was a, a paddle wheel inside it I said this big ting is this big round ting so that's pretty cool and we go see all the mechanics in there and all that stuff and the wall see boilers and all kind of stuff I got sidetracked and I wanted to see this first before I go inside. But look that. I actually had quarters on here. Officers quarters. That kind of stuff. That was back there. There's nothing much left of them now. As you can see, the captain's quarters would have been right there. There's some backwards facing guns in case somebody is chasing them. They could shoot them. Pia! And look at the big rudders. That's what that is, the big rudders there. Look that, look that. Watch, we're going to look inside and see the wheel in, from the outside inside, if that makes any sense. I'm in a hurry here. Watch. Look, here we go. Look that. That's what the skeleton of a paddle wheel looks like. And look, you can read about it right here. I'm letting y'all read all kind of stuff. I hope y'all been brushing up on your, uh, your reading skills. And look, we'll go over another one. And now you know how to steer it. Cause see, I'll show you the pilot house in a little while. It kind of pops up on the uh, on top over there. It's a little bump. It looks like a little bump kind of. And, uh, and look, that's I already showed you all that. See, I'm ahead of the uh, thing. I know so much about ironclads. I can show you all the rudder before I even get to the uh, picture that shows it. So there you go. I'm going to walk up the plank to get inside here. And we walk right into the engine. It's in pretty good shape except it got a couple of holes in it. Busted up a little bit right here. Well, there's some of the paddle wheel mechanics. big ones on the bottom of the boilers and then the top is a steam drum that's where the pressure comes from to turn the paddles and that's what the paddles look like which we already saw pretty, pretty good stuff to, to push these things and here's the real thing not just a picture there's a big piston in there. Look that. 
and that's the big arm part and see see right there where the giant fingers pointing that's, that's kind of the the uh, crank sort of that turns the wheel it goes like this pretty realistic <laughs> You can see there's the boilers right there, and this is where the, uh, the stacks would be going up, way up, and when you go around this side, that's the pilot house right there where the steering wheel was. It's like a little bump on top, a little pyramid sort of deal. And look, this is how you, the, the shooting end of the... Uh, the, the can where you can aim it, adjust it up and down, and all that. Yeah. This is kind of interesting. We'll see some of this in a little while. Because look down. And there's the three cannons that point to the front in case this boat is chasing you. Oh man, they spoiled all my fun. There's nothing I love more than to climb around on top of cannons. That's how, how much room they had to, to poke those cannons through to shoot. Let me see, you can see the big paddle of the wheel down there. I bet it got pretty hot inside this thing, all closed up with them boilers boiling and that steam deal steaming. And them cannons shooting. Cool. There's another view of the pilot house up there. Some of the original metal parts and stuff. Giant call. Oh, the finger's really giant now. But it's uh see that some of the original metal pieces on there. They were able to figure out where they went. And this is kind of how they covered it. Look that. It's like a railroad rail and they just they just bolt it on and you can see they got a, the hatches they could pop that open a little bit more let more air in and give them a little bit of a view while they were shooting in cannons at people <laughs> oh see I was part way right that was additional to the regular armor on it. And look that. There's another one gonna aim right at us. Oh yeah, yeah, look you see how the hatches work a little bit. Uh, hook a rope to those things and they can pop them open from the outside, I guess. Of course, I'm usually wrong about most things. Yeah, they were talking about the, the hog chains. And that's what this is. It's actually a bar. Uh, like a turnbuckle on it so you can tighten it. And look at it. It comes right down. It's down there. And then goes down underneath. So you can keep the front and the back from dragging. I hate when that happens. And there it is. On the inside. Hey, look at these. And it, it's all like made out of tin, but the interesting thing is everybody marked their stuff so it wouldn't get mixed up. You, know, you can kind of barely see it on some of these, but they had uh, their names and stuff written on them. 
That one just had a big star. He might not know how to spell his name or something. Some people couldn't read or write back then. So you put your mark. And here's a bunch of other stuff they found in the wreckage. As I said, it went down so fast when they sunk it that uh, everybody just had to get out. <laughs> and nobody drowned, nobody got lost in it. But uh, when it went down, but they, they lost all their stuff. Here's some of the, the personal stuff that uh, a lot of these guys lost. And a bunch of buttons and things like that, but some pocket knives and some scissors. That's a neckerchief right there. It's amazing that survived at all, being cloth. And here's some other stuff. Oh, even some money, money, money. This is a boat swain's missile. Oh, missile. No, it's a boat swain's whistle. <laughs> and there's some flutes that could play some music. And look, somebody had some dominoes. And, uh, and a, a nifty pocket watch there. And all that went down with the ship. And there's some shoes and stuff. We got, maybe some guys had to get off the boat barefoot. I don't know. What kind of stuff? Some pipes and stuff. a bunch of other uh, other items they found in the wreckage and not, not too often were they able to collect all this kind of stuff it's just that the, the ship went down so fast that everybody just dropped their stuff and ran but look all that and look a bunch of guys lost their guns Bayonets. And guess what? I've been saying it wrong the whole time. It's Cairo. <laughs> and they have a film about it uh, that you can watch and learn some. But it's Cairo, not Cairo. Only an idiot would call it Cairo. But uh, this is a cool model of it and look down there you can see what it looked like from underneath the paddle inside there and this part as it says it's cut away it would have been solid all the way across there and look there's a little guy running around on it pretty cool huh oh and look that there's a big another big model that's a big model of it though of the Cairo, not the Cairo. <laughs> it's actually a model of what's out there. Because uh, you can see that the front part's still all wrecked up and stuff. Wood's missing and everything, just like it was when they found it. But there's a little film about uh, how they found it and pulled stuff out of the water <laughs> and restored it. Oh, look, the the pilot house, they pulled the net out. Some of the wood was so bad it was in pieces so they could pull it out and then they had to figure out how it went back together. But they had old copies of blueprints and drawings and notes and stuff to go by. So that's pretty cool. And they even got the ship's bell from it because it went down with it too and nobody went back to get it. But there it is. Look that. Check back soon to see where we stop next in Vicksburg on Look That.